Welcome to another quick tip video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. I've got a question from a customer who says, I have a list of numbers in a column, and I want to be able to add up the numbers where they're greater than 10 but less than 20. So here you can see I've got 5, 11, 19, and 25. I just want to add up 11 and 19 because they're between 10 and 20. Well, to do that, we're going to use a function called SUMIFS. It's a new function that was added in Excel 2007, and you can use it to send multiple criteria to a SUM function. And here's how it works. I'm going to say equals SUMIFS, I-F-S. Open it up. SUM range is the range of values that you're summing up, comma. Then you can have multiple criteria ranges. Now, this is designed so you can have different types of criteria in other columns like are they from New York or do they have a certain credit limit, but you can use the regular sum range to provide the criteria range as well. So I'll say the criteria range is also the list of values. All right, use the values themselves for their own criteria. Comma, what is the criteria? Well, inside of quotes, I'll say greater than 10, close quotes, comma, what's the next criteria range? Now, this is an AND condition. They have to match all these conditions. All right, select the criteria range again. Quote, less than 20. Now, you can have a third criteria range and a fourth one, but I'll close it up and press Enter. And the value that I get there is 30, 11 plus 19. It ignored the 5 and the 25 because they're outside of the range 10 to 20. And, of course, if I make this a 10, it still ignores it because I have greater than 10, not greater than or equal to 10, and there it is. Now it includes it with a 40. Okay? So that's how you can use the sum ifs function to find values with multiple criteria. Now if you go to my website at excellearningzone.com and type in sum ifs into the search box, you'll see my search page comes up. There's a free sum ifs tip video on my website that goes into more detail about the sum ifs function and how you can use it with multiple different types of criteria like state and credit limit and things that I mentioned earlier. And I also cover it in complete detail in my Excel Expert Level 5 course. So both of those are on my website. And of course, if you have any other questions, please feel free to contact me. Thanks a lot.